This is a way of taking fresh raw garlic in a manner which doesn't quite burn as much and goes down more easily. Take a cucumber, slice it really, really thin with your cheap ass knife which you got from your budget shop, okay? Take one, just one clove of garlic, not a whole bowl, just one of these cloves, all right? Um, get all the papery husky skin off it and then slice it up into lots of really, really, really small pieces just like you may have done with your cucumber or smaller, you know, and do it lots and again and again and again. Then take tiny pinches of your singular clove and spread it between, let's say, half a dozen of these pieces of cucumber. Wrap it up and then you've got a little bite-sized snack with pure garlic and the cooling effects of the cucumber so it works a lot nicer. Okay, so now I'm using red onion. And a good thing to do with this, if you find the flavour a bit too much or it's um, a little difficult to digest for you, is take your slices of red onion, soak them in cold water for 10 minutes, then drain them, um, and then you're ready to use that on your garnish. And the cold water would have helped to leach out some of the negative flavours or things which you might find difficult to digest or process. And you'll have a much more um, softened, improved, well-rounded flavour to the red onion. With a steady hand and a bit of concentration, even with just uh, you know a budget shop knife, you can still cut your garlic incredibly thin, and then that, oops, yeah, can go with. Oh, I'll find a thinner piece there. Yeah, that will then go into there, uh, fold it up or wrap it up in whatever way is comfortable for your fingers. This piece of cucumber is choosing not to bend on me. But there we go. So I'm just going to eat that the way it is. Finish it off with some onion. Mmm. Power. One idea to uh, increase the nutrition of your snack is to take broccoli and just literally mow off all the green stuff. Okay? Then take your dairy-free margarine, spray, um, spread it on your rice cakes, then take all your green grassy stuff and put that onto the margarine on your rice cake. All of the nutritional goodness of broccoli is held in the top green frondy bits, okay? So it makes sense to try and use that rather than necessarily trying to digest all the stalk if you're going to try and have some raw broccoli in your diet. That's the way I see it anyway. I'm not an expert, but that just makes a lot of sense. And that's the kind of effect which you get afterwards, and you can just munch straight away on that, and maybe add an extra slice or two of your red onion and anything else you've got, which is salady, and invoke spring with your meal.